welcome back to my channel you guys i am so excited to try this new technique out with you guys if you guys don't know what it is it's basically mixing your foundation with some powder and the first person i've seen do this here on youtube was rose kimberly if you guys haven't checked her channel out definitely do she's so sweet and so funny um but what she did was she mixed her foundation with some powder and it kept her matte all day you guys and you guys don't know i'm really really oily in the summer so it's really bad right now but i just want to go ahead and try it out for you guys and see if it works on me and also to see if it'll work on you guys so if you guys want to stick around and see what it ends up looking like then go ahead and keep on watching okay so i went ahead and color corrected my face and also primed so we're good to go now the foundation i'm going to be using is the maybelline fit me foundation the matte and poreless in the shade warm coconut for today and the powder i'm using is the laura mercier powder you guys know this is my all-time favorite so of course i had to use it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mix some foundation on the back of my hand Hopefully I pour just a little bit because I always pour a lot. So this is what it looks like. And then I'm going to put some powder onto the back of the cap. Let's see. And then I'm just going to pour it right on top. So I don't know how much powder to put, but the more, the better, I guess. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix the two. And of course, I'm making a mess. Okay, so even though I'm mixing the foundation, it doesn't feel chunky like I thought it would. It still feels really, really smooth, so that's a good sign. So I'm going to put some on my face and go ahead and start blending it out. Okay, so I know I look a little bit crazy right now, but bear with me. Um, two things I do realize with this foundation. One, it got a whole lot thicker. It almost feels like the Estee Lauder foundation, if you guys know how that feels. It's got thick consistency, and this is what it feels like with the powder mixed with it. And then also, I do realize it's a whole lot matte. Like, I'm trying to blend it out, and it's almost drying up on me. But I do think this is going to do a really good job at keeping me from getting oily throughout the day. So... Let me go ahead and finish blending out the rest of my face. Okay, you guys, so this is what my skin looks like. I do think it looks really, really good. It looks really smooth, really flawless, and not cakey at all. With the powder, I was expecting it to look cakey on the skin, but that's not the case at all. So I really do think this trick is going to work, you guys. So it's currently 3.40 right now. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face and also do an eye look for Instagram. And I'll be right back to do the wear test. So I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, right, you guys, so I'm back. And I know I look so dramatic right now with this black smoky eye i don't even know what to call it but it's for instagram so bear with me i know y'all never see me with makeup but it's currently 5 17 right now i've already had this makeup on for about an hour and a half so i'm going to see how far i can push it i'm going to go out and do some errands and all that cool stuff and i'll be back to let you know how the foundation held up i'm really excited because it's doing really good so far not one drop of oil you guys my face is flawless right now so I'm so excited. I think it's going to work. Um, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I'm back, you guys. And it's currently 9.33. So it's been around six hours. And of course, when you look at my face, it's really oily. I mean... I expected it to be oily but it doesn't look as bad as it normally does around six hours don't forget I was out and about today in the summer heat and you guys it was scorching hot outside so I'm surprised my foundation is still on but I don't think it's that bad like always um I just think if you dab it off and just take off the excess oil it won't look as bad for people who aren't as oily as me, I do think this trick will work. I'm still going to use it because it really did keep me matte for like a good four hours, which is fine. Um, but for anything over four hours, I don't think it's going to last that long. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my sponge and just dab up the excess oil. And I think it's going to look a whole lot better. Oh, you guys, so I do think my face looks a whole lot better once I grab the sponge and removed all the oil on my face. So I do think this method works. I'm just really, really oily, you guys. That's just how God blessed me. But if you go ahead and try it out, please let me know down below so I can see your thoughts on it. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys know about that. But I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video.